Hello, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. This is Okuta Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about Nigeria, about the Afro land, about Africa, and about the world at large. If you have not subscribed to this channel or any channel related to Okuta Daily Talk, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Without you, there will be no me. Without you, there will be no, nothing like Okuta Daily Talk. I thank each and every one of us out there immensely for all your support. Uh, for watching my content and also subscribing and viewing my content, may the Almighty Chukwu Kiabiamo and your Premier Nile Oyane Kuku Oganine may He bless the words of your hand wherever you are and anything you do for a living. May Almighty Chukwu Kiabiamo also protect and preserve you during this festive period. You will never fall to any temptation of any kind, and all these hoodlums, all these kidnappers here and there will never see. Any of you in the mighty name of Chukwu Kiabia on your opinion. So, my great people of Biafra and the lovers of freedom, and my great people of Nigeria, those who are listening to my voice, please, I am moving straight into the business of the day from this very minute. So, tighten your seatbelt and do what? Listen attentively as we take the headlines. You know how the culture always be. So, endeavor to give me your ears and listen attentively. Okada ban federal uh, federal capital territory tax force crosses 432 moto motorcycles. How can you be banning Okada when you have not provided job for the youth? In other words, you are increasing the insecurity in the country. Nigeria, what is happening to you people and how do you people got to this very extent? How can you continually tell, tell, telling, telling us you are banning Okada on the same youths? Most of them are graduates. You have never given them job. You have no any provision or whatsoever on what they will do to make an ends meet. Most of them have one, two, three, four, five, as many kids as they, they ought to have. No job for them. You want to ban Okada. And once you ban Okada without no source of income, how are they going to feed their family? The next line of action is for them to go into uh, into uh, this, um, uh, into crime. Federal government of Nigeria, what have happened to you people? Can you people provide job for the youth? Then you can ban all these things, ban even ban Danfo, and they will be happily doing their job. You are banning Okada on the same youth you 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 deny job on the same youth you call lazy lazy Nigerians. I wonder how this country is losing. I'm, 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 I don't know. I don't know. The way our government uh, is reasoning, the way they used to frustrate the poor in this country, I wonder if uh, they want all the whole poor to die or they want all the whole poor to run and leave the country for them so that the country will be empty for only them to leave. You want to ban Okada and you never provide a job for them. When the crime increase now, we begin to talk, uh, this, uh, these are the important violence. Uh, these are the enemy of uh, the, 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 the government or enemy of a uh, democracy. Look at how it always starts. Let's move to international news. This is Indonesia again. Indonesia that I uh, gave the news last time about uh, uh, the earthquake that happened, that killed many. Now, Indonesia mine explosion kills 10. Mine explosion kills 10. Nigeria loses $12.6 billion, 120 million barrels of crude oil in nine months. In nine, just only nine, nine months. Oh boy, this government don't finish the country. For ordinary nine months, Nigeria, I mean, $12.6 billion is enough to settle Nigerian debt. Nigeria, the only country that thief its own resources and, and, and go and uh, deposit it abroad. As if here is dying today and tomorrow. As if they are on transit in this country. The same government, the same people, the same set of people, the same old fools, the same never do well psychophants that never ever want this country to move forward. And tomorrow they are still campaigning for votes. Even one threatening people, threatening his constituency that if they did not vote for APC coming 2023, that they will be dealt with. The police, the EFCC, even the INEC, who's supposed to react to that? Nobody says anything. Nigeria. It's all right. We are moving forward. Abuja residents lament renewed 
insecurity as government abducts cop cops member and others. So let's start our news from the banning of Okada in the Federal Capital Territory by task force members. Further to its commitment to the ban on commercial motorcycles within the nation's capital, Abuja, the Joint Enforcement Team of the Federal Capital Territory Administration crossed 432 uh, 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 Okada on Thursday. And that is how they also crossed and they also brought in 432 hungry men on the street into crime. Tell me, I have never seen where they say, oh, after crossing this Okadas, we provide job for them. They have not. The team, accompanied by operating from police, military, and uh, paramilitary, stormed and ransacked Okada operators' court while operating in the area. Thereafter, a total of 432 motorcycles were crushed. Top officials of the Federal Capital Territory Association have been assembled, and heads and heads and representatives of various security agencies, including paramilitary organizations domiciled in the Federal Capital Territory, observed the crossing exercise, which took place inside an open space at Lube Car Wash along the airport road corridor. Areas raided include the Clinton Interchange, Caron, Majiji. Uh, Kuchinguru, uh, POE, Junction, near Shoprite Mall, Lube FHA, Popular Lube Car Wash, Police Signboard, along Airport Road, all in Abuja Municipal Area Council, where the task team clamped down on some riders who attempted to flee the scene. Reacting to the development, the chairman, taxi operator, car wash bus stop, in the area, Adebola Olu Omo said, without the exercise, the road will be closed as there are a lot of obstructions due to the activities of the defaulting Okada operators. He said, they are always on the expressway riding recklessly against the traffic and nobody could control them. If anyone talks, they will stab you with a knife. The task force are always coming around, but the Okada operators will be stoning them as they believe that they are the owners of Abuja. So the government should continue with the exercise as if it is like that Abuja will be very clean and the road will be safe for all. Explaining the exercise, the Secretary of the Federal Capital Transportation Secretariat, Abdullah Adamu Kandido, retreated that the government will not relent on the reinvigorated re effort to read the city of the menace. Most of the English people are using here, you don't even know the meaning. And you are writing the big, big English with a primary school certificate. Candido warned the operators and owners of the commercial motorcycles to keep off the major roads of Abuja, especially the city centers and the gateways into the federal capital territory. Similarly, the director of the Directorate of Road Traffic Services, Abdulatif Bello, said the exercise which is the third in the series of its signature enforcement on the ban on Okada operations in the city is proof of its zero tolerance of the menace. According to him, their continued in insistence to, to operate in the city is no longer a traffic offense, but a serious security breach that requires the intervention of the government, hence the involvement of military and paramilitary agencies to effectively, effectively tackle it, according to them. Recall that although that motorcyclists have been banned from operating within the city, but many operators are seemingly uh, citrant, thereby allegedly causing all sorts of threats to lives and property in the city. Also speaking, the senior special advisor to the Federal Capital Minister, Federal Capital Territory Minister on Monitoring, Inspection and Enforcement, Ekaharu Ata. The choice of the location for the signature exercise was in order to send a strong signal to the perpetrators in a different direction, adding that as long as they remain uh, resilient, the Federal Capital Territory uh, Association AB area remain resolute to clamp down on them. He said during the raid, we got a car total of about 432 for today, and we are hoping that with the with the the resolve of the DRTS 
we will be seeing more impounded. The airport road is the gateway into Abuja and what people see is what they describe of Abuja. Seeing Okada men riding against traffic into the city, being so unruly and breaking the law at will, paints Abuja in a very bad light. This is why the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory resolved that we must get them off the highways, especially airport road and Big Clinton Drive. The minister has resolved that throughout the year two period, lawlessness will be not will not be allowed in the city. So enforcement against illegalities will be non-stop throughout the year two period. And going forward, for those who may want to commit illegality, is going to be a real one, according to the spokesperson of the Abuja Capital Territory Minister. So let us go into the international news on indonesia again another uh, tragedy hit indonesia one more time after the earthquake that claims lives of many some couple of months ago two workers were killed in indonesia after an explosion in a coal mine caused a collapse the rescue agency officially said friday the miners were at a coal mine in the west uh, samotara province when the blast buried and estimated 14 people. The mine reportedly collapsed due to an explosion caused by methane. Local search and rescue agency spokesperson Octavianto, who, uh, like many Indonesians, uses only one name, said in a statement. He said 10 bodies were recovered while four people survived. The mine was reported to be a licensed operation. Mining accidents are common across the uh, mineral-rich South uh, East Asian uh, archipelago nation, especially at unlicensed abandoned sites where people scratch for leftover without using proper safety equipment. In September this year, at least seven people died when a landslide hit a mine on the Bonio Island. And in April, 12 miners at an illegal gold mine in North Sumatara province were killed in a landslide. Indonesia, why? What is happening? Why all this natural disaster all the time? May the souls of those who have, lo who have lost their lives find solace before the Almighty. Nigeria loses 12.6 billion 120 barrels of crude oil in just nine months in this our regime in just nine months so nine months times each there know how many billions this is just this twelve point six billion is just for nine months nigeria is gone nigeria has lost not less than 120 barrels of crude oil from january and september this year amidst revenue crisis and we are shouting we don't have money the level of crude oil loss in production translates to 12.6 billion dollars going by crude oil production data obtained from the Niger, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission. While Nigeria had uh, proposed a budget of 20.5 trillion naira, 47.7.3 billion dollars in 2023, with the feasibility of relying heavily on borrowing amidst the, amidst the country's debt crisis. The 12.6 billion loss from the oil production would have provided a quarter of what is needed to finance the budget. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Infrastructure issues, pipeline leaks, and oil theft have squeezed Nigeria output this year, leaving the country consistently below its OPEC, uh, OPEC crude oil targets. Nigeria's own submission to the OPEC uh, Secretariat put September crude oil output at just 938,000 barrels per day, just over half its quota for the month, while total liquid production was only 1.14 million barrels per day, according to the NUPROC. Notwithstanding the challenges, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, is hopefully the country's oil production will rebound to 1.8 million barrels per day by the end of the year and to increase further in 2023. 
with the discovery of more oil, more oil, oil wells, why Nigeria cannot produce, uh, I mean, meet the quota the, the, the OPEC gave to them because of the corruption and other uh, uh, irrelevant issues happening in the country. If Nigeria is successful in increasing its oil production, it may again broad the subject of adjusting the baseline production figure that determines its quota, its quotes, quotas within the OPEC plus group. In 2021, the country produced 1.7 million barrels per day. In January, 1.76 million barrels in February and 1.74 million barrels in March. Production volume dropped slightly to 1.68 million barrels in April, went down to 1.65 million barrels in May. And they are not doing anything about it. They know where the problem is coming from. Yet, all of them keep silent until the thing dropped to low and went to 1.63 million barrels in June and July before dropping to 1.5 million barrels in August and September. Look at the loses. Imagine the loses. Compared to the same period in 2022, January production figure in terms of daily average was 1.67 million barrels and 1.52 million barrels in February. In March, it dropped to 1.49 million barrels, went down slightly to 1.48 million barrels in April before dropping sharply to 1.27 million barrels in May. 1.40 million barrels in June, it crashed to 1.3 million barrels in July and worsened to 1.1 million barrels in August and September. The total production from January to September of 2021, which include crude oil and uh, condescent, stood at 452 billion, uh, 51 million, 631 barrels of oils. The total production from January to September of 2022 made up of crude oil Blended and unblended condescent stood at 338 billion, uh, 825 million, 54 barrels of crude oil. This development brought the level to lose in a space of nine months to 120 million, billion, 226 million, 557 barrels of oil lose. Why Brent was trending for 95.5. Uh, dollars to barrel yesterday, the average between 2021 and 2022 stands about $105 per barrel. The 120 uh, billion, 226 million, 577 barrels lose in the period under review translate to 12 billion, 623 million, 790,585,000 That is all. Nigeria is losing on daily basis. Child, this regime have really dealt with us. They have really dealt with us. Let us proceed. Abuja resident laments renowned insecurity as government abduct cop member and others. Residents of the Federal Capital Territory Abuja are worried over a re re resurgence of insecurity in the seat of power. The concern was triggered by Thursday night, night abduction of a National Youth Service Corps member and seven others in attention to relocation on an Arab Road, Kubuwa area of the Federal Capital Territory. The Corps member said to have only one daughter, uh, okay, to be only a uh, daughter of her parents, was reported kidnapped in her father's home while others went missing after the attack. The Guardian learned that two others escaped while they are being whisked away through the hills by the abductors. It was also gathered that the government attacked residents in the extension to relocation on Arab Road in Kobua and shot two males. One of the gunshot victims died on the spot while the other was rushed to the hospital. During the attack, an eyewitness who reached out through social media noted that the government shot sporadically at the Amilomania Street and later moved to Toyin Street. He said, We had gunshot twice when they first stormed a house of Amilonia Street. They are now at Toyin Street at the last house by the hill. They shot at a, a, a tailor, Ebel, popularly known as Oshuri, and he is lying down dead. They also shot another man, but we took him to the Kubwa General Hospital at phase four, but he was unconscious. The government escaped through the hill. Reacting to the incident, 
a resident of the Federal Capital Territory and President of the Human Rights Writers Association, Comrade Emmanuel Omubiko, noted that security architecture in Nigeria generally has collapsed due to corruption, indiscipline, and failure of uh, professional professionalism on the part of the hierarchy of the armed forces and police. Yes, that is the problem we have in Nigeria. The seamless penetration of federal capital territory by terrorists shows that the hierarchy of the Brigade of Guards, the Federal Capital Police Command, and the Secret Police have failed. The terrorists who broke into the Kuje prison and released terrorists and dangerous detainees are yet to be arrested. Federal Capital Territory is saturated by the terrorists freed from Kuje prisons, and the policing institution in Federal Capital Territory has collapsed under the heavy weight of the ineffectiveness and inefficiency, he stated. Meanwhile, Federal Capital Territory Police spokesperson Josephine Ade said the command has commenced investigations into the reported security breach occasioned by the armed robbery, shooting, and abduction of some persons in the Kubwa relocation estate of Arab Road area of the Federal Capital Territory on Thursday night, December. The Commissioner of Police, Mabaji Sunday, noted that the response of the command in an aggressive manhunt on the perpetrators resulted in the rescue of the three victims and recovery of firearms and ammunition, including one AK-47 rifle, 25 rounds of ammunition. Preliminary investigation, however, revealed that at about 19.30 hours, 7.30 of December, some armed criminals came into Kubwa relocation estate, shot two victims, one Oshodi and another Abdul Wahab. Both other names unknown. The suspects, while departing the scene, left with four victims. The two gunshot victims were immediately rushed to the hospital for medical attention. Unfortunately, one of them, Oshodi, could not survive, as he was confirmed dead by the doctor, while Abdul Wahab, Abdul Wahab is still being attended to. Meanwhile, the CP called for calm, noting that the command has since deployed intelligence and other operational assets to fortify security in the entire Kubua area and its environs. The command urges members of the public to remain vigilant and promptly report any suspicion or untoward situation through the following numbers we are seeing on the screen. So anyone that have any complaint, call any of the numbers and you will be rightly attended to. So my great people, you have seen what is happening in Abuja Axis. The police, the military, the brigadier of guards and the rest of them in the capital territory have failed Nigerians and also have failed the, the residents of those particular areas. It is high time the Nigerian uh, authority reshuffle the police and each and anything that have to do with military because they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything or whatsoever. They only there to collect salaries and loot their junior salaries. But do something. Work for the people that employed you, that they are paying you with their tax tax money. You, they cannot. Only arresting and harassing people who have not done them anything. May the Almighty to God give them and protect His people. Because what is happening in Nigeria now is O Y O. You are on your own. Believe it or leave it. But this country have turned to something else. Whereby even our inspector, inspector general of police have not anything, have not anything to offer other than robbing pancakes all the time. Every time you see his face with pancake, I wonder who is robbing this man those pancakes, whether he is acting film or what. And carrying big nyash like a woman. Eh? Every time he's on his seat, reading something that uh, nobody is uh, know. I mean, I mean, this thing is, is really getting out of hand. And uh, the Nigerian system, the, the presidency, and the rest of them, the Senate, House, House of Press, and all other relevant authorities need to do something about this before it gets out of hand. So, my great people, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, this is me, your one and only Okute Daily Talk. If you have not subscribed, I want you to do that as soon as possible. Turn on the notification button so that you will be first to, to be notified. Each time we go live or post something new on our channel, remain blessed and remain focused. Do not die for the politicians and die your own die when the time is right. Bye for now, my people. Until I come your way again, Kemesiano.